joining me. Uh, today is Monday, August 3rd, 2020. And over the weekend, my friends and I, Joe, Bob, Chuck, with some help from Sam, dug, hauled, and washed three tons of lamperite ore, diamond ore, that had never been touched before. Um, this is on a private land. My wife and I own the land and mineral rights outside the state park. It's a proven source for diamonds. It's been sampled before by Superior Minerals. They found 17 diamonds there while doing some geologic study and sampling. Texas Star also found 17 diamonds while sampling there. So we purchased some land and decided to sample there. My wife and I spent a lot of money on the land and the mineral rights and state-of-the-art diamond recovery equipment that you see behind me here. Now we spent all that money and didn't have money for excavator, dump truck, and, and loader to feed the plant. So, with help from some other guys, we, uh, we plowed into the raw lamperite, loaded it up with shovels into buckets, and they fed it by hand into the top hopper there and then it goes around in the scrubber and then it comes down to this lower processing plant, this smaller trommel that separates the ore according to size and then jigs it across a rubber tire jig and separates the light material from the dense material. Diamonds are denser than the rest of the lamperite. And uh, in so doing the process, we ended up with a tailings pile. Uh, this is actually 10 feet deep. Huh. I'm just getting started digging it off. So after the process, you know, we pump water up into the big scrubber and a separate pump from a pond nearby. We pump rainwater, pond water for processing. A separate pump goes to this lower unit here. And then all of the silt and tailings and lighter material come down this pipe and dump into this huge pit. You can't see it all from here, but the uh, tailings settle out here and the water goes on over there and we have another pump that recycles the water and pumps it back to the pond so we don't run out of pond water when we're processing. So we reuse the water, but the tailings kind of fill up our settling pond, tailings pond, recycle water pond, and uh, now, after washing three tons this weekend, three tons has to be dug back out. Now, if we had money, I would use an excavator. Of course, if we had money left over, if we hadn't spent more than $100,000 to this point, we would have money for excavator and dump truck and they could come in here and dig this out and haul it off real quick. But since we can't do it the fast way, we'll do it the old fashioned way. And really, this isn't bad. This is like shoveling sand. It's not hard digging or anything. Uh, a lot of what we did, the, you might've seen the other video where the lamperite been undisturbed. No one's ever checked that part for diamonds before. Um, it was so hard that we couldn't dig it with a shovel. We couldn't break it up with a rock bar. We couldn't break it up with a pick. So we got an antique plow and hooked it behind my four wheel drive pickup truck and had a chain and drug the plow through there, an old one man plow like they used to use at the Kimberlite mine, 1909 through 1912. And it works, it breaks it up. So that method was tried and true and I happen to have an antique plow and we just put it to good use. And 
it would break up big chunks of lamprite. Well, we just threw it in the buckets, threw it in the plant, and by it revolving around in the scrubber, that scrubber has fins in it that picks it up and then drops it, picks it up and drops it. And it breaks apart and turns to this gravelly sand. This is what you get from a solid chunk. It breaks it up. To help break it up, we threw some cobbles, big potato rocks, in the scrubber to use kind of like a ball mill. So it revolved around and those big rocks came crashing down on the lap right and breaking the pieces up. So everything in the process worked great, but diamonds are a one in a billion. So you have to sort through a billion of these other rocks to find a diamond. That's why we have three tons of tailings left over from three tons of processing this weekend. Anyway, I'll uh, get this dug out, probably not all today since nobody's here helping me. I've got some shovels in reserve if anybody wants to come help. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> now it's more fun digging up the lamparite and running it through the plant. And I, I can get volunteers for that a lot easier than I can for just plain old manual labor like this. But I've got my truck and trailer here and wash tubs and I just fill it, fill it up with tailings and then I dump it in our field here. But that's the process. So the, the byproduct is a lot of tailings because you're only catching a small percentage, less than 10% of 1% is actual heavies like chromium spinel, we found that. Chromium diopside, we found that. Pyrope garnet, we found that. We found a little barite too. That's your dense materials that are caught in with diamonds. And I can't say how many diamonds were found because that's proprietary uh, company information. I mean, that's why we did all the work is for the information, yeah, for the diamonds, but we also needed to know how many diamonds per 100 ton will that ore yield. And we need like five carats per 100 ton to be profitable. But uh, so that information can't be shared at this point. Maybe some point in the future we can, but right now uh, it's proprietary. But that's the process. We've got all the pumps and all the equipment run off electricity and we just use water. So there's no chemicals involved. Unlike gold, we don't use any uh, mercury. <laughs> of course, they don't do that anymore. Uh, we don't use any cyanide or, or acids or nothing like that is involved. Just plain H2O. Old rainwater from a pond is what we use to separate the diamonds from the ore. So there's nothing wrong with this. And I have had these uh, this soil sampled <laughs> by the county extension office. And they said that's good for growing crops. So. Yeah, you don't have to add any fertilizer to it or anything. There's manganese and other uh, minerals and uh, nutrients in this soil. So it's good for, for growing winter wheat if I want to plant some this winter. But uh, for now, I've just got to fill these wash tubs and all this out of here. I pumped the water down so I could get in here because yesterday at this time, the water level was clear up to the bottom of that pipe. So this was all water and then now the water's down so it would dry enough where I could get in here and shovel without being knee deep in water shoveling. So anyway, I got 10 feet to go and I'll be done. So I'm just getting started. But I wanted to show you what the process looked like and, and uh, what the pile of tailings looks like. So it's just this uh, sandy little crumbs of uh, busted up igneous rock, uh, diamondiferous lamparite. We uh, already extracted the diamonds and this is all just to go out in the field.